morning, you Boom Beach fans. We got our Mrs. Chowderhead account here. We've been pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. There's quite a few <coughs> diamond players already. I was doing pretty good. I was up to 37, 19 and 37, which was way up here in the U.S. Er, somewhere in here, top 100 U.S., but we, uh, we hit a rough patch. A couple hard bases. This one player just cut through our base so fast, doing the backdrop so that all your heavies get deployed and I need to put some more boom mines up there to slow that crap down and then boom 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 they just don't have enough time the defenses don't have enough time to roast them before they get there Don't know if that's going to do anything. Really need shock mines, shock bombs. I'm thinking about going for some cryos also. That would be uh, pretty nasty. Got to stop that backdrop. Is that all my boom mines? I don't know. But... We're going to keep pushing, even though we're have no chests right now. So this is another example. The shock launchers are going to be trouble. they got mines everywhere. I'm tempted to run Zookas in here. We don't have critters on this one, though, so my Zookas might get roasted coming back there. But we're going to run some of this action. We do have the troop damage. And let's just get into it. I want to try to wound some of these. Tick four <clears throat> barrage takes three, and also a uh, max barrage takes three. So, to take out a shot launcher, and I believe it's four barrage takes out an ER. Probably would have been better off just barting out that top engine room. Do some extra damage. Do we have any heavies out there yet? We got a couple out there. Looks like they're still dropping. Boom cannons going down. Let's clear some of these mines. Soften up that boom cannon. And we lost two ERs. Still have all our choppers. For now. And we'll probably rush this last one. And Brick ate it. Two fifteen, that's kind of average. And we got one, knocked him out of nineteen. Let's see, don't know if we can get to twenty, it's kind of tough right now. But the troop damage is big. I want to upgrade that flare 
just for some of the long backdrops just to manage the gunboat energy a little bit better we probably need the building damage bumped up wouldn't hurt to get five more gunboat energy as well i've thought about getting the smoke too but not that useful yet um cryoneers would be useful and I've got the medics up a few ticks. I'm thinking about using uh, one of these combos. It works on some, uh, especially with the troop damage up now. You don't need four boats of Zookas. And the medics will keep them alive since I didn't get health packs. I went for the mortars. Uh, we are two chests away from the next engine room also. So that's going to be big. Up here you have more troop health, building health, shock bombs, and the bombardiers. Now you can get the Grins tanks and go straight to 6 ER, which I might do. It's uh, 110, that's six chests. Two chests for that one, that's eight. Two chests for that one, that's ten chests. Uh, Twelve if you count the two I need for this. And Kavan's going to be pretty big later on, especially once you get the bombardiers. So ten chests, you know, it's three or four days. We should be going straight to that six engine rooms that's what I'm hoping I might stay here and just farm those chests but that's going to be that's going to be a pain I'd be able to max out most everything here that I have unlocked um, let's get right back into another one we got striker the rocket launchers are going to be a big problem Let's check the range and the mortars. So we're gonna flare up here. Gonna need a couple choppers right away just to drop those. Heavies out. And those mortars are deadly against Zookas. But we've got another wave coming in. Let's hit battle orders and speed up that healing process. Take out another... Ooh, rocket launcher. A little late on that one. Are we down to one medic? And he stepped on him. <laughs> we got two medics out there. Stepped on a landmine. Looking okay right now. We're taking out that bottom engine room. Working on these machine guns and flare barrage for the win. 218. Not a bad time again. The all heavy chopper rush also is very effective I don't have the long flare though that I want I don't want to unlock anything right now like I say we're saving up 
I am seriously considering a boat of cryoneers, a boat of medics, and probably three choppers. I might do that on my mini account. But I would love to get up into... Here we have the shock launchers. And a bunch of... Machine guns, we're going to run choppers on this one because of the landmines. And let me check the damage amp. We'll probably need... Uh, I want to say 5.3. Because of these cannons, we're going to lose a bunch of heavies. But will we able be able to do enough? damage with just <coughs> three rockets Bart out this back one Let's say it take three Two. Let's get one more, finish that off. Do a little extra damage with the battle orders. And boom. All right. At this point, I kind of want to reflare, but I don't want to lose anything. I'm going to soften up some of these defenses. taking us down. So we'll just flare that one and call it a loss. The, the uh, shock launchers really make it a problem for uh, heavy chopper rushes. But that's what we're doing right now. We're switching it up, playing around with base layouts. And let's watch that replay really quick. Not really excited about this layout. It doesn't do a whole lot to stop. It's more for the uh, heavy chopper rush. And yep, that hack is terrible. <laughs> but I'm not taking out the heavy choppers right now. That's disappointing since I maxed out my boom cannons I thought that would help out but it's not I mean we got mostly max defenses and we might dump some into here I think that's gonna help guys as always thanks for watching chowderhead out